hello YouTube and welcome to your third JavaScript tutorial as promised in the last tutorial we'll be discussing about the environment or kind of the context of scripts in the Google Chrome extension now in Google Chrome extension there are kind of three environments the first one is an isolated environment which runs its scripts in an isolated environment and it is called background scripts now what background scripts does is they do not run on the page they do not run inside this box right here if you open this they do not run in the context of this page they run in a complete isolated environment and are not able to access any of the DOM and their properties the second environment is the extension environment scripts run here in this pop-up box are called extension environment pretty much clear this is itself in separate HTML document as you can see in the pop-up.html so this is another environment and the third environment is the user page environment now user page environment is like like I'm browsing this page and the scripts are executed within the context of this page to make things clear let's see what each of them are and how they are useful let's start with the user page environment because it is one of the most interesting thing uh, like that so first of all let's copy this from the developers uh, dot chrome page and uh, let's paste it, paste it out here somewhere okay so let's remove the permissions we don't need any permission for now I'll just apply a wildcard right here now th what this wildcard means is this wildcard the star here means is this script should run on every page now star here means this this script should run on every page having the protocol HTTP and I don't care what the path is or the domain is so this would literally run on every single page having the protocol HTTP if you want to specify HTTPS as well we'll do something like this okay CSS we don't need it right now I'll explain in a while what it is JS now JS is something important and interesting let's remove the jQuery one right now as I don't need jQuery and we have got a myscript.js now let's create a file myscript.js as mentioned in the manifest and let's do something like alert document dot domain okay uh, let's try to reload our extension mm. let's reload our extension and as you can see the alert does not pop up here why because the host is right now the protocol is right now chrome and not HTTP if we refresh this page you see a alert box saying developer.chrome.com now why does it pop up as you can see in manifest.json we have the regular expression of matches and a wildcard which says match every HTTPS domain and HTTP domain now for instance if I want to do something evil then what I can do is document.write or basically document dot location which is more eviler and kind of more evil and I can redirect this to any of the page but I won't do this for now so basically using this content script you you are actually inserting whatever you write here inside somewhere in your source code of this page isn't it cool you are basically with the help of extension adding a script to any of the page user visits and you can do the stuff you want to do the next environment let's see the popup.html now let's uh, link a file to it script.js and I guess okay we have popup.js right here and the reason I'm not giving like script alert script because 
in Google Chrome, the inline JavaScript is not allowed. The execution of inline JavaScript is not allowed due to security reasons. Let's create this popup.js. We don't want anything of this. Uh, let's simply alert document.domain. And let's reload the extension. And now, when I click on this popup, you see an alert box and it says this or random text which is the extension ID of this my extension as you can see let's do a document dot write a extension and let's reload this and let's click on the pop-up box and as you can see a document dot writes hey extension with the hello world from our HTML code. So this script here linked with popup.html is running in the context of the popup box right here. The third thing we have is the background scripts. Now background scripts actually run in a very isolated environment and this is because they have access to all the Chrome APIs. Chrome APIs which are used for like message passing, storing, storing into Chrome extension, storage and all those APIs like that. The uh, content, uh, the content scripts have a very few Chrome APIs like the message passing to background scripts and like for that. So content scripts cannot use much of the Chrome APIs of Chrome extension APIs and the popup.js as you can see runs in the context of popup.html and has no access to any API of Chrome API okay so now let's create background scripts as you can see in the background pages right here if we see let's copy this and let's paste it right here now we have background scripts background.js and remember whenever you supply any script they load in the supplied uh, way only for example if I want to use jQuery in my content scripts then I'll supply jQuery.js uh, like that if I do jQuery after my script then obviously I'll get the error that jQuery is not defined so let's create a background.js script and down here let's do a simple document or maybe an alert basically though this run the background script run in the context of an isolated environment but still you can view background scripts from here with the inspect views as you can see I get an alert box with background.js because it runs in an isolated environment but with the help of background page I can actually view what is created by this background As you can see, the background page is something like this: body script src background.js. Now, what if I want to like, um, what do you say? I just want to do a alert of document dot location. What will happen now? Just wait for some time. And as you can see. We get the document.location as Chrome extension, this thing, and generated background page. Now, this generated background page is completely isolated from this pop up page and the context user page. Hence, this background page basically runs in a complete isolated environment where you cannot access the DOM directly and you cannot modify the user page or interaction. However, with the help of combined background.js and the content scripts, you can do something called message passing. That means you can pass messages in between content scripts and background.js, which uh, you can use eventually to like doing certain actions which are which can be only done by background, like storing the values sent by user and can modify the user end with the help of content scripts I like that so I guess this tutorial was clear about the three environments 
summarizing up we have three environments in Google Chrome extension the background environment the pop-up environment and the user environment in the user environment you use content scripts which uh, uh, which are followed by a <coughs> matches uh, command which uh, requires you to add certain wildcards or any other domain to match your script on the next thing we have is the background environment which is completely isolated page and runs in a completely isolated environment and have access to all the Chrome APIs and the third thing we have is the pop-up environment which is the environment which runs right here and has no access to any API so I guess I was cleared with this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe the channel and thank you for watching my video.